Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and a demo of the brand new L'Oreal Magic Retouch Precision Instant Grey Concealer Brush. So this follows on from the success of this one here which is the Magic Retouch Instant Root Concealer Spray. Now if you guys remember I did a review and a demo of this way back when it came out. So many of you loved that video and found it helpful. Just to let you guys know I still continuously use it to this day. This one is almost finished and obviously now they have released this one which is like a basically like a mascara wand. Um, and it's supposed to do a similar sort of thing. Now, the difference with this and this is that this one is more for kind of larger parts of your hair, which have got quite a lot of greys and you don't necessarily want to dye it. And this one here is for that in-between stage. Now, as you can see, I'm currently at that in-between stage now. My greys are scattered around my temples, just a little bit here and around here, but not enough for me to justify dyeing my hair just yet. Now, for those of you that don't know, I dye my hair, it's actually dark red. It's very difficult for you to see in this kind of artificial light. I've just realized I've got my other lights on. Let me just turn them off. Why'd I forget? That's better. Sorry, I was looking kind of yellow and I was wondering why. It's because I've got the main lights on rather than just my soft boxes. All right, anyway. So, I dye my hair dark red. My natural hair color is dark brown. Now, the dark red is still okay for me to use this color which is uh dark brown right on the front dark brown so this is dark brown and this one that i use is dark brown as well now it comes in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten colors which is great it goes from very 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 pale blonde to dark black now i do have to say the only people that should really use dark black or black is people that have dyed their hair black. Nobody has naturally black hair, no one. No matter what you may think, you do not have black hair if you have described your natural hair color as black. If you go in the sun, you'll be able to see your natural hair color is very, 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 very dark brown. So the only people that should really use black is people who've dyed their hair black. Otherwise, it will just look very, very odd and it won't look natural and it won't blend into your natural skin tone. Now, I bought this for $6.99 from Boots. It was an introductory offer. I believe it's normally supposed to be about $8.99. And let me just open it up for you guys and show you what it looks like up close. So here you can see it is just just like a mascara brush. And this is what it looks like from the inside. It's flat, as you can see from this way. And then you turn it round and it is very, very thin. So it is supposed to make it really easy and mess free for you to apply to your hair. Now I have used this a couple of times and just to let you guys know before I get into the demo, I started yoga classes in July. Now my yoga is not your nice little peaceful om and sitting there and doing a couple of stretches. No, my yoga teacher, it's like an aerobics class. She pushes us to the max. Every single class, I am literally dripping with sweat. Every single class. So I thought the best way for me to try this out is in a class such as that. Now, I tried it out a couple of days ago. I was dripping with sweat. It did not come off. When I had to go into child's pose, which if you guys know about yoga, you know child's pose means that your head almost touches the ground in front of you and you relax for a second. The sweat was all over the mat, but there was no brown marks whatsoever. So this gets a two thumbs up in terms of wearing it out and about every single day. I've also worn it in like spitty little rain, touched my head, it did not come off. I even have slept with it in my hair and it doesn't rub off onto my pillowcase, even though my pillowcase is dark blue, but still. Now the only way, and I have not washed it since I applied it, I've literally kind of rubbed it off. Now what will happen is if you do touch your hair, it won't come off in like a brown streak, but if you rub it, you'll see maybe very, 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 very tiny particles of brown stuff. Um, because it has dried and it's flaking off because you're rubbing it off. But in terms of day-to-day -day wear, it will definitely hold up under all temperatures, under all kinds of weather and sweat. Because let's be honest, sweat is definitely more powerful than rain. You know, and when I say dripping, I mean literally dripping, like drip, drip, gross. Yeah, so this will definitely work very, very well in terms of how long it stays on your hair. Now, what it says is, Hold dry and detangled hair back. Gently stroke the magic precision brush, brush on temples and scattered greys. Then gently stroke with your usual comb to distribute evenly. Once done, 
quickly blow dry or let it dry for five minutes comb one last time and you're ready to go now i did not have my hair out when i tried it out i had it tied up because when i tie up my hair that's definitely when i can see my grays more than when it is out because like i said it's at that in-betweeny stage of not needing to dye it just yet but you still don't like the fact that you've got little bits of whites and grays around the edges now i have to say that it took about 20 minutes mine to fully dry because before the yoga class i applied it to my hair got in my car and drove and it's about a 15 20 minute drive from my house by the time I got to my yoga class, then I touched it and it dried. In between when I was driving, I was testing it and I could see little bits of brown. So you just need to be wary about firstly how much you put on. Make sure that you do use a small comb to just kind of distribute it so that there's not clumps of liquid. Because the difference with this and this is this is a spray. So you've got much more of a fine mist over the hair, whereas this is a direct hit of liquid. So liquid is obviously going to dry a lot more slowly than something which is a spray now I do still highly recommend this if you can get your hands on it please watch my video and my demo where I go into a lot more detail this one now on the other hand is also great but you just have to remember that you need to get it, give it a little bit of time so now you can see the greys here and here so what I've got here is my little Alice in Wonderland comb from Primark and we are going to now apply this to the hair just so that you can see how well the coverage is as well i do have to say that i also believe that this will definitely last a lot longer than this one because again it's a lot smaller there's a lot less liquid in it this is eight mil it says and this one is 75 mil and it's also a spray so it's up to you really what you want to use and that sort of thing and it's down to personal preference to be honest i mean with this one you've definitely got a lot more control than you have with this spray if you guys remember from my video i normally like apply a tissue or something around the edges spray it over so that i don't get it on my forehead you won't have that same problem with this all right what i'm going to do now is i think i'm going to try and zoom a bit more if i can or get a bit closer let me see if i can get a bit closer all right is that a bit better i'm just a floating head now i feel like uncomfortably close but here now you can see so obviously as it says on here hold dried and detangled hair back and then stroke onto the temples and scra scattered greys i don't have to hold anything back because my hair is tied up and let's go and i have got thick hair by the way so and this seems to be the area of my hair which has got most of the greys all right let's try the temples now what i have noticed as well it's got two different types of serrated edges and one seems to be quite flattish maybe that's just to push the product around like this and the other one's got more of a comb sort of bit to it so that it glides on a lot more easily so can you see that very obvious product build up and line there that's what happens when you use something which hasn't got a spray and that is where the comb will come in handy now so that I can make it look a little bit more natural I think this is the reason why I prefer the spray another reason why I like the spray more I think as well is because can you see because my hair's tied up it's the mascara one's actually pulling my hair out of the bun which is annoying All right, I think I'm happy with the amount of coverage that I've got. So now I'm just going to take my little comb and just comb it through a bit to redistribute some of the product so that it's not gloopy in any places or bunched up. Okay, so that's it. So let me show you now while it's wet. See that on my hand? brown marks so that's why you need to give it a couple of minutes for it dries before you can do anything but I also find that patting it a little bit also helps so what I'll do is I can see a couple that I've missed but that's because my hair's tied up and because if I drag at it anymore it's going to pull my hair 
out of the hairstyle it's in and it's going to irritate me which is why it probably will work a lot better if your hair is out because obviously it's not getting pulled out of a hairstyle if that makes sense so i will come back in about 10 15 minutes or when this is dry just to show you guys what it looks like completely dry but as you can see it's given really good coverage it's covered up those very obvious grays that were right here I know maybe it might seem a little bit odd but then I think because it's a wet liquid and the lights are bouncing off of the um, of the wetness it's kind of shining a little bit but trust me on this it looks fine okay I'm back as you can see it all looks good now let's do the touch nothing nothing there is all dried completely dry the only thing that I would say is that obviously if you apply lots of it it will have that slight crunchy sort of feel let me just hold on and let me just like move back now because I feel uncomfortably close like you can see a little bit too much that's better <laughs> okay so it feels slightly crunchy to the touch you know like when you've got gel in your hair and it's dried so in terms of how that would translate when your hair is out it might mean that it feels a little bit like you've got hairspray sort of feeling in your hair and if you're one of those people who's always touching your hair always touching your hair hopefully it should just kind of feel a little bit natural especially once you've run a comb through it because like I said I applied it before my yoga class I went to bed I didn't wash my hair I was just too tired my yoga class is in the evening by the way and uh, in the morning it was still there combed my hair tied it up it was still there and I also use spray gel in my hair to keep it like this and it did not interfere with it so in that respect I think that this is really really good however however this or this this or this I have to say that I still kind of prefer this and the reason being I don't have to wait ages for it to dry I don't have time in the morning when I'm getting ready for work to wait for something to dry for 20 minutes before I get on with doing other things this one also in terms of the price I think this costs maybe one pound more when this is at normal price it lasts so much longer this one obviously in terms of size is easier to travel around with and the thing also is that if you're like me and if you've got thick hair the problem that I found especially doing this area where there was more grays is that I had to apply a lot more now if you've got a lot more thin hair it won't be as difficult and you won't have to apply as much another reason why I like this spray as well is is that if you have got sparse kind of baldish patches around the edges some people have it a little bit here some people have it a little bit there you can spray this and it kind of covers over that area as well you can't do that with this because this is just a little brush but bear in mind that is not the reason why this has been created this is just to basically sort out those sparse little greys around the edges and I do think in that respect it does exactly what it's supposed to do so as a result I think that this is a really really good product I probably won't repurchase this purely because I'm a really big fan of this so that's it so I hope you guys found this review useful and helpful let me know what your thoughts are if you have tried this or do you think that you may just still prefer this like I do it's always good to see what different varieties of a certain product are out there but I would definitely suggest maybe trying them out if you can and again it depends on your hair type I'm Asian I've got Asian hair I've also got very thick hair as well it's not as thick as it used to be because of medication I used to take however I still got pretty thick hair as it is so in that respect this one will get to areas where this one doesn't a spray will go in not just a direct area like this one would it would kind of spread out a little bit more as well catching little hairs that you may not necessarily see like for example at the back of my head I can't see if there's any grays down there there might be but I don't know so that's it so uh, what else can I say on my lips I'm wearing I just happen to have it here Two Face uh, Pout About It lipstick. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Bye.